Hi, my name is Steve Murphy. I'm with Teledyne LaCroix. I'm the product marketing manager for the HDO 6000 and in this case for our APEC trade show. We are here to talk about power and switch mode power designs. I'm very happy to uh, introduce to you uh, tools that help you take a power supply and when you're trying to improve the efficiency of a power supply, the switching section is a key area. You want to understand a switching device's losses. You want to know the turn on and turn off transitional losses and what are those losses? Can you improve them? You want to take a look at the conduction losses and view what what they are. Is the off-state losses really zero uh, for a discontinuous supply? Uh, you want to see RDS on and measure the dynamic on resistance. Uh, you want to see the safe operating area and make sure that you're not stressing your switching devices. So there's a number of air, uh, measurements that I'd like to present to you and this will be a short introduction. Uh, you will be able to see more details at the La Teledyne LaCroix website. Um, to begin, here we have the, a, a flyback power supply that I'm uh, using. We're looking at a live signal. I'm using on channel one the top trace. I'm looking at the drain to source voltage. We're at 50 volts per division on that. The second trace down, channel two, is our current going through uh, the, uh, the MOSFET. Uh, and uh, we also are multiplying voltage times current to give us the power waveform, which is the lower trace. Now, what you'll notice is there's a lot of color going on, and that's because we've taken some uh, uh, design tasks to tell you what the zones are for each of the losses of a MOSFETs, uh, 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 for example, switching transitions. So, and looking at the top here, this is VDS. This is the drain uh, current captured with a current probe here on our, our flyback power supply. The lower trace is showing you the first, that's the zone uh, in green for the turn on transition. In red is the turn off transition. This here is the conduction loss and this is the off state losses. So what we've done is we've taken and, and I set the software up to identify with color-coded overlays and we've actually used the parameter measurements of the oscilloscope to measure what it, the actual turn-on losses are, the turn-off, conduction, off-state, and the sum of all those with the switching frequency. And I might want to just go ahead here and turn on statistics so I can look at for 11,000 measurements what the average turn on losses are in similar to the rest of the measurements. Conduction loss is interesting in that to see a, a, a good measurement and an accurate measurement of conduction you need to have the, the saturation voltage clear and in offline supplies you've got to have a good clamping differential probe to get you there. And so this is a differential amplifier that allows us instead of 50 volts per division like the top trace to get 100 millivolts per division. It's the clamp, it's the precision differential amplifier that allows us to now take conduction and get much more accurate measurements. And as you can see in our software, we can go ahead and uh, me measurements like RDS on and get you more accurate measurements. Of course, another uh, tool that improves the accuracy, you must eliminate sources of error. And there is, there is offset error for voltage and for current, and there's timing propagation delay differences that you have to take out. So all of these measurements must be done in the state of as much precision as possible and we have set up controls for you to make those measurements much more accurate and precise. So again I'm very pleased to introduce the uh, uh, the Teledyne LaCroix um, solution for making the best measurements of efficiency when working with uh, power uh, semiconductor uh, circuits. Thank you for attending.